Okay, so first I'm gonna uh, comment this out because we don't really need them. So what I want to do, I want to bring a button. So first I'm gonna go at the top and just bring a button. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna render a list of users. So, so far we don't have any users. So by default, when the application or the component starts, you're gonna get, I don't know, some uh, default users. John, James, and Lisa, whatever. Okay, so now of course, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the button. So I'm gonna go at the top, at the bottom, and first bring the button. Now remember that when we use a button on React Native, if you don't pass the title, this is gonna fail. So we need to provide the title or what the button, uh, you know, it's gonna say. So title equals, and they're gonna call add user uh, name, whatever, doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm gonna save it, and if I reload it, you know, we uh, escape that error message. Right, and of course, remember that for each uh, platform, the look and feel of the uh, button, it is a little bit different. But that's okay, we can uh, talk about that later. We need to do a lot of other things first. Okay, so now what I want to do, whenever the application starts, I want to render right here at the top the list of the, uh, you know, users we have right here, just by default. So I'm gonna open, I'm gonna say this, that state, that users, uh, that map, open and close, and I'm just gonna, you know, pass an item, uh, and then of course render some JSX. So I'm just gonna do some something dumb, you know, something easy, so we can just move forward with this. Uh, say uh, first the item, which is gonna be pretty much the whole name. I can add some stylings, because if not, it's gonna be a little bit uh, ugly. So I'm gonna say style, open and close, and styles and then users. And I kind of need a key. Um, I'm gonna use just the item. Uh, this is actually not right. We should be using something that is unique, but again, we are just practicing. All right, so if I save this, of course, uh, it's gonna fail because we don't have a users, right? Uh, so I'm gonna add some styles for the users. I'm gonna go over here at the bottom and say users. All right, so I'm gonna add something pretty, pretty simple. Let me uh, do maybe font uh, size, you know, just a little bit bigger. And you can see why I'm making this big. So border, and then I can add a width, right? And the border width is one. Then comma, I'm gonna add a border color. And this is the way we get to, you know, choose to, or add the, uh, the borders. So border color, and I'm gonna make it maybe a uh, gray, C-E-C-E. -C -E. Then I'm gonna add some padding, maybe 10 and a margin, and then bottom, right? So I'm gonna add maybe 20, that's okay. So let's see how this looks. Of course, border color, and I made a mistake with, the, made a typo, border, border color, there we are, there we go. So I'm gonna reload it. And okay, you know, it's ugly, but you're gonna see why I'm making uh, the names really, really big. You're gonna see in a minute why. And this is part of the problem I want to, you know, recreate. Now, every time we uh, just tap or click on the button, what we want to do, we want to grab whatever we have inside the my text input on this estate, add it to the list, and of course, it's gonna get re-rendered right here at the top. So for this, we kind of need a function. So I'm gonna go at the bottom and just create a bun uh, function on I don't know, add user makes sense. Open and close, and then of course we're gonna do uh, the uh, pushing right here. First, I'm gonna do the on press. So every time we press the button, we're gonna go to this dot on add user. Now on this one, we're gonna do pretty much what we did previously on the app container. I'm gonna grab whatever we have on the previous state and I'm just gonna inject it inside the users. So I'm gonna make a reference to the this that set state, open and close. I'm gonna say prev state and open and close, and then of course, what we're gonna return, we're gonna return the object, which is pretty much the state, with the my text input now empty, because remember that we, this happens when we click the button and we are adding a user. And then of course, we're gonna get users, uh, users and a new state of the array. So again, it's gonna be dot, 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 we're gonna do dot, 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 previous state, dot, and users. So far, the, the list is gonna be the same. But what we want to do, we want to grab the prep state and we access to the previous state of my text input. All right, so this is gonna work. So I'm gonna save it 
I'm going to go to the application and just going to, you know, add a new name. I'm going to say, I don't know, Martin, add username. That works. Steve. All right. It works. Now, let me add a couple more names and you're going to you're going to see why we are doing this and which prompt you get, we're going to get. So I cannot think maybe uh, Joe uh, are going to do whatever. And then Francis. And I want to add one more. Uh, Jan, whatever. And OK, so I want to go below the input and I just cannot do it. So by default, this is not just like React for web. It's not a web. If you go outside of the container, outside of the main screen, if you just go uh, overflow that, you're not going to get the default scrolling. But not at all. You're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. So you cannot really go below the screen. So what we do, we use a container that it's going to be adding or listening the height of the uh, of the component. Right, and this is the problem I wanted I wanted to talk about. Uh, so let's go to the next section and see how to fix uh, this problem.